when you have and you know you you're you're a grown woman you you you're married and then you have this relationship with a with another male because he's your coach and so maybe it was hard for him to understand that it's not a female male relationship but it's a boxer coach relationship and coach i mean derek is always talking about how you have to be one or on the same wavelength right when you're communicating in the ring when you're coming back to your corner when you when you as the fighter are in the ring and your coach is giving you instruction from the outside you have to be able to tune everyone else out and just hear his voice and you can't build you can't build you know you can't buy a relationship like that you can't just pick a relate you know it it, ha it has to be built and so i could imagine yeah. there was some kind of conflict there there was kind of uh, i call it speaking language so that's how i always put it it's like yo we're not speaking the same language right. it's like we gotta we gotta learn we gotta learn the language here it's like we gotta speak the same language and once you start speaking the same language with your coach it's something that yeah, it takes work and it, it takes building, but first you have to agree that, hey, this is, it's like, a, it's like, it's like shopping, right, for a friend or a human. Yeah. It's like, hey, I like you. I think we're going to get along. <laughs> and it's that, you know, it, it, you got to really like the person. You got to be, you, regardless of first, before their coaching abilities, it's like, do I really even like you? You know, do I really want to be around you? Do you really want to trust you? Do you want, every time you text me, am I going to take you serious? If you find that, and, you know, with Rudy, I was really lucky that I found out really early in somebody. And I feel like that was one of the, that is the main reason that I did so well in my career, that I found someone super early that I tried and respected, and we spoke the same language. And because I started to build that with Coop, um, it was really, really hard for my husband to understand. So, you, know, you, you, you in a hell of a position, girl, the one I'm listening to. And, and, and I'm gonna tell you something. Take it with a grain of salt. But I, I, I made a post on Instagram this morning, and you and I, you know, we don't talk. But I was, I was saying, the margin for error in boxing is so fine and so small. Uh, you know, a little bit this way, so a little bit that way, you win. And uh, to hear these situations that I, I, I didn't, you know, I don't have any information on that uh and and being being somebody who supports you and wants you to win you need to uh you got a lot of compartmentalizing that do sound like me and 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 with your training listen i'm gonna be the first one to tell you i've been I, I, i've been training guys i've been training 25 years been in use since training fighters since 07 i think right and and rudy silver is one of the top guys in use you know that and and uh, so he's got my you know I look at him as a colleague. Whenever we get him, we talk uh, we talk uh, shop and boxing all the time. And uh, so I would hate it's not a I, I, I don't and I don't it don't sound like you're shitting on him or nothing. You're just saying it's, it, it, you want to do another thing, but you got a lot of things going on. But a husband and and, and a child and a marriage man, that's a lot of work. You know, I've been with my wife 20 years and I still ain't got it right. So <laughs> and she 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 tells me every day what I need to write. But but you got a lot of things going on and so maybe maybe that Sunisa fight could easily and, and I don't believe in excuses at all, period. Because if you don't accept responsibility for what was on there, the rate you can't fix it. But if you had a lot of these things flying around Maybe they manifested themselves in this fight, right? And maybe, maybe you came out hot, and now it's hard. You got to climb, you know. Like you say, you thought it was around later, it wasn't. Uh, now you got butted and all that stuff. And I ain't making excuses for you, but it sounds like you got a lot of stuff going on, man. And 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 from yeah. from this day forward, from this day forward, to be successful and fulfill fulfill what you have to do as the group. Uh, just as a, a supporter, I, I hope you compartmentalize that. So get get this stuff ready with your husband, get this stuff with your coach, and get stuff and everything before you bite off. Because I know you won't get a bag in the ring as you should. And uh, uh, but you know, and, and we know women's boxing, y'all don't get a lot of uh, uh, fluff. Y'all don't get a lot of uh, oh, let's let her build up for five fights. Mm -hmm. No, nah, they're gonna put you right back in right, there. Right, right back in. 
you guys got to earn y'all spot. Yeah. No, I, I 100% agree with you, um, everything you just said. But first of all, I mean, I've been compartmentalizing my whole life. Like, I'm the queen of, of that, you know? Like, I've been doing this like 10 years old, man. I've been doing this for a lot, I know. And it was a lot. Um, I think that's why whenever it was all said and done, I came back and I just said I had enough and this is what I'm doing. So instead of kind of floating around, I was like, look, this is this is how I'm changing it, and I'm changing now, and to go ahead and just figure it out. So, in all honesty, I'm happy with all the decisions I've made so far. I think I'm pretty much, you know, anything that was an issue or was floating around, it's not there anymore. And I kind of just addressed the situation and got everything fixed. And it could, you know, and too, I'm like you. It's like I'm not really going to blame anything. I mean, I, that was a situation that I felt like I could handle. And I was still, I was still cool with the fight. I mean, to be honest with you, if I wouldn't have been headbutted, I still think I would have won. But regardless, I knew I wouldn't have won because of the, the scorecard. But to me, and this is just my opinion, when you lose a fight and you know you lost, that's those are the ones that really mess with you. You know, like, they hurt your soul, you know, because you're 